Gram staining is a process that helped us discover the two kinds of cell walls we have inside bacteria. So the first is the gram positive. The gram positive and the gram negative are both, both in relative to the peptidoglycan. The peptidoglycan is, a, a, is the linking, overlapping linking of amino acids and sugars, and we will talk about it later on. But the entire process of understanding these two is understanding that, that the position of the peptidoglycan is different from the two. So if we have gram positive, that means that the peptidoglycan is on the top layer, so on the most outer layer of the cell wall. And the gram negative, on the other hand, has a periplasmic space that holds the peptidoglycan and is sandwiched between the bilayers. So, so the way to memorize this would be, okay, if you shrunk down to a microscopic level and you saw the cell wall itself and you saw that, hey, look, the peptidoglycan, the, sorry, the peptidoglycan is actually right on the top and it's positive. I'm positive I saw it. So therefore, it's a gram positive. But then if you look at the cell wall on the microscopic level and you see that it's not there, you're negative. You're sure it's not there. So it's, so it's not there. Negative. It's not there. So gram positive, when it's gram stain, when gram staining will produce a purple color, whereas gram negative will produce a slightly pink color. You might be noticing that there are these these colors right here. And this refers to the toxins that are present. So let's talk about the gram positive, first of all. The gram positive just has the exotoxins. The exotoxins are, are there in both the gram positive and the gram negative, and they allow the, to, the bacteria to compete with surrounding bacteria. And this is basically the same toxins that will basically attack other bacteria that are consuming consuming uh let's say it's consuming consuming something that that is needed by the other bacteria so resources for example and this is this is responsible for a very serious form of food poisoning bottomism bottomism is very serious uh, food poisoning. And then we have endotoxins, which are just present on the gram negative. And endo means inside, and that makes sense because it's inside the outermost bilayer. So it's a component of the gram negative bacteria. And when the bacteria dies, initially it's not a big deal, but when this bacteria dies, let's say we send in some kind of this bacteria is inside a human body, let's say, for example, and we send some kind of antibodies that will destroy it, then this bacteria, then the endo and the endotoxins are released, this will cause a septic shock because the 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 blood will leak into the, the, the tissues and this will cause a drop of blood pressure. And this is very dangerous, it can cause death often. So these are these are the two kinds of cell walls we have, and they're all in reference to the position of the peptidoglycan.